Hello again, welcome to another edition of Preparing Wisely, your partner in food storage and preparedness. We're here on a sunny Arizona day. We're going to be giving you an introduction to the Global Sun Oven. The Global Sun Oven is a superb solar oven. It has solid construction and great history. The unit itself is constructed with popular board fascia around the edges. It has aluminum panels that fold up easily when you're ready to put it away. And it snaps down with a convenient carry handle. When you're ready to cook, you simply open it up and the panels pull out. You're ready to cook. It has a tempered glass top with anodized aluminum inside. And there's a leveling tray that not only helps to keep your food level during different times of the year when you may be tilting the sun oven up or down, but it also helps keep an even temperature on the pot in which you're cooking your food. The, uh, the oven itself is insulated with fiberglass food grade safe batting and then it has a poly outside. The oven itself, the, I should say the panels themselves are not hot. They're actually cool to the touch. The tempered glass lid is hot, so I'm not going to touch it. And then the outside is usually uh, a little bit warm, but not very hot. It's a very safe oven to use. You just have to realize that it is hot inside. Right now our oven's at about 300 degrees. I let it heat up. Uh, today it's a bit uh, breezy and believe it or not we're in May in Arizona and it's uh, barely even going to get 90 today. Uh, earlier today I had the oven up to 400 degrees as I was preheating it. Um, I've just taken it back out again, uh, preheating it for a batch of beans and it's at 300 degrees so I'll go ahead and uh, put the food in it now. Um, we found that the uh, Enamelware pots that uh, the Global Sun Oven Company sells are really fantastic. These are three quart um, enamelware pots. They're speckled, dark, thin walled pots. And um, obviously this helps to collect heat and then the thin wall allows it to heat up very quickly. So to place your food inside, you undo the snaps, pull open the lid, onto the leveling tray. You close the oven with the snaps and uh, then you allow your food to start cooking. Uh, when you're baking with it, it's a good idea to keep it in line with the sun. You do this by simply rotating it about every half an hour or hour and uh, allowing it to stay so the sun is pointing directly into the glass. If you're using it as a slow cooker, I would take it out early in the morning, even as early as 6 or 7, face it due south, put your food in it, and leave for the day. You can come back later, say 5, 6 in the evening, and you'll have a nice meal. So depending on how you use it is how often you would adjust it. Once again, if you're baking with it, it would be a good idea to move it every half hour, two hour. When you're using it as, as a slow cooker, you would face it due south, and your cooking time will actually be from about 10.30, 11 o'clock, all the way through about 2 o'clock. And so your food will cook during this time, and then it will stay warm for you until you're ready to come back and get your meal. Um, we think these are the best uh, solar ovens on the market today. They've been in business for uh, decades now. Um, I have customers who come in all the time and uh, have shown me their sun ovens that are 15, 20 years old and still working great. Uh, these are solid construction, well made, and the tempered glass lid is very important for cooking in hot uh, areas such as Arizona. Um, my oven, again, is at about 300 degrees. It will probably get back up to 350 quite soon, and um, my beans will probably cook in about four hours.